on everybody, this is Stridox here bringing you another Iron Throne video. And in this video, I will be talking about heroes. Which hero is the best, which hero is the worst, which one to use, etc, etc. So let's get into this video guys, I hope y'all learned something from this. Let's go! So as y'all can see, whenever y'all click hero, the hero tab down here, heroes, boom, click heroes, you're here at the heroes page. Now let me go ahead and explain something guys. All of these heroes, every single one of them, including the ones that you can purchase, which are these two over here. Let me move my camera, these two right here. Every single hero is exactly the same. Now y'all might be wondering like, what? Is this dude crazy? Like how are they the same? They're all different. They all have different, like different ability. ability. Wow, I just stuttered so bad. They all have different abilities, bro. This one, look, cavalry attack, cavalry defense, cavalry HP. Then you look at it, where you look at, where's my ninja at? I call him ninja, bro, but his name is Achilles or whatever. Achilles, Achilles. Um, infantry attack, infantry defense, infantry HP. You look at this guy here, his construction speed goes up. Look at this girl right here, cavalry. Look at this girl, food production, wood production, stone production, iron production, silver production. Stridox, how are they the same? They all got different freaking traits, different abilities. Well, bro, let me show y'all something, man. Let me show y'all the reason why I say they're all the same because there's a little thing called your trait right here. You can change their trait to whatever you want it to change it to, okay? For example, my Keyless, my ninja, is sitting with infantry. Infantry attack, infantry defense, infantry HP. He's also set with infantry gear, okay? Uh, you don't want him to be sitting with like cavalry gear or something like decreased construction time because that's gonna be pointless. Add infantry gear to your infantry trait. Now, if I don't want him to be infantry, I could be like, boom, troop training speed, cost me 200 gold, whatever, bro, 200 gold. Now he is troop training speed. That's his trait, training. Okay, so therefore, what kind of gear would you add on him? You would add training gear. Same with the runes over here, bro. Okay, you seen earlier, I had him on infantry, right? Infantry attack on his traits. I had infantry runes his troop capacity, and hero attack. All of this is going to benefit him in attack. But since I don't want him to be a training hero, okay, I want him to be my infantry hero. So he's gonna be set for infantry, okay, because he is matched with his infantry gear. His trait is going to be matched. Now the next step is the guard captain, which that will be your in your uh, citadel. Right here, you click a point. Now this is where things get crazy, okay? Your guard captain. Let me go ahead and dismiss him for a second. Cancel appointment. Now, look. You can see there's no bonuses, no nothing. This is your attack. This is your attack appoint, okay? Your appointed hero needs to be attack on guard captain, okay? So you look, you look at all these stats over here. Your cavalry attack, your enemy deep buff, all this kind of stuff, right? Put your hero in here, especially whenever you're offline. Whenever you're offline, put it. Put your best hero in here that's going to defend your citadel. A point hero. Now look, you see how there's 0% up here? A point. I'm going to point my ninja, Achilles. Okay, a point. Boom. Now my citadel has this bonus. It has its leader. It has its hero. Okay, its heroes in his castle. That means whenever uh, an, an enemy attacks your citadel, you have your guard captain's stats, his abilities, and all that kind of stuff defending, okay? Now, now, now imagine if you're offline like all day and you get zeroed, say you get zeroed, completely wiped out and kill all your troops. Bro, your guard captain is gonna get captured. They're gonna capture your leader, they're gonna capture your treasure, they're gonna capture your architect, and they're gonna capture your scholar. Now guys, if you don't have any, say you do this, say you do this, right? You cancel this, go to replace, cancel him, you gotta replace, cancel him and go to place cancel him now say they zero you now guess what this is basically sheltering your leader you don't they're not going to capture any kind of leader as long as your heroes aren't appointed they can't capture your leader but remember this that's the bad thing as well because if you don't have especially a guard captain you don't have your guard captain appointed dude they're gonna do heavy 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 damage to you why? Because your infantry, your infantry defense, infantry HP, your bonuses that I have right here for him, guard captain, they're not there. Same for treasurer, okay? You can see this is like troop training capacity, you got wood production. This is the production uh, hero that you want to hear into the treasurer. So go ahead and put in that hero, which that hero, which one was he? Uh, this guy, that's research, that's uh, this is construction. This is your food production. I got gear for him 
These are his trait and food production. I'm going to appoint him on the production, on the treasurer. And same with architect. He is the construction. Look, watch this. I can put a hero. I'll put uh, this guy here, which is infantry, okay? He's infantry based. Do I get any kind of freaking constru construction uh, speed decrease? No, because he's not. He don't have no construction gear, okay? No construction gear, and his trait separate is separate infantry. So look at this. I switch construction trait. He's also in construction gear. A point, boom, 10.5% construction speed, and then also decrease construction time by two hours and 28 minutes. Same for scholar. This is your research speeds. You want to put a hero that has his research speeds. His research trait, which is this one, 4.8%. His trait is at research trait. And also, she has research gear, okay? This is all research gear. A point, boom, I have the increase now. See, guys? You see? Maybe you learned something today. So remember, guys, all of these, they're just basically cosmetics. They, they look good, right? They look good. Any hero that you have can be any trait that you want. Literally, any trait. Like I said, my ninja, my Achilles, could be any trait. But if he's going to be research, you want to put research gear with research runes in him, okay? Since he is, I have him set for infantry, he has infantry gear. You can take a look right here. No, that's my battle, that's my battle stuff. Infantry, 376 attack. This is like basically all, all infantry. You got di uh, dimensional battle and stuff right here as well. But uh, basically this is my infantry hero and he's gonna have his attack infantry for the most part runes. You got the infantry attack, hero attack, and troop capacity, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, I hope that helped. I hope y'all learned something from this video. Remember, all the heroes are exactly the same. You can change each hero to what you want, which is freaking amazing. And to summarize everything I just said, if you don't want your leader captured, don't put any of your heroes into your appointed in your citadel, okay? But remember, you're not gonna get any kind of speed or boost or nothing like that. It's kinda, it kinda sucks, right? But if you are gonna put heroes in here, make sure you have a good defender in case you get attacked or just stay shielded, okay? So if you don't wanna lose your leader, don't put none of, none of your heroes in here. Uh, if you do want to lose your leader, don't put <laughs> your guard captain and then leave every these other heroes in here because they don't give attack boost. Okay, so um, yeah guys, I think that's going to do for the video. I think I explained everything I needed to explain. I hope this helped. If it did help, drop a like. Comment down below. Tell me which... Well, I want to know what heroes y'all use. So I want to know if y'all use cavalry, range, or infantry. Literally, just comment down below. Let me know what kind of uh, y'all uh, infantry, range, cavalry y'all use. And that's going to do for the video, man. I hope y'all enjoy. This is Stridox here. Hashtag PNP Stride Pan for Life. If you want to play Iron Thrones, the link is in the description. It'll bring you right to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, and it'll download to your phone. Love you guys. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Peace. I'm you. you know I never will make it by And I can't breathe if it isn't you and I